Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. Conservative commentator Prue Maxween has called on Brittany Higgins' husband David Sheras to get a job. It comes after Miss Higgins announced that she would need to sell her property in France, which she had bought less than a year earlier, in order to cover the costs of defending herself against Linda Reynolds' defamation lawsuit. Ms. Maxween mocked the couple after the news was announced. Too smart by halves. Mondieu Higgins has to sell her French chateau to pay for her mounting legal bills. C'est la vie, she tweeted. Mr. Sharas leapt to his wife's defense several hours later firing off a furious tweet at Ms. Maxween. You are vile, he wrote. Ms. Maxween responded sharply, suggesting that Mr. Sheras should focus on job hunting rather than posting on social media. I would have thought he'd be better placed to use all his efforts to find himself a job rather than trolling on X, she said. I have no interest in his opinion of me. I think he should be focused on considering the repercussions of his strategy's political games. They are pretty vile. It is understood Mr. Sheras issued a further rejoinder, but quickly deleted it. Mr. Sheras, 33, has been out of full-time work since Ms. Higgins received a $2.4 million compensation settlement from the Commonwealth over the handling of her sexual assault allegations in Parliament. Mr. Sheras left his radio station job at Southern Cross Osterio a month after Senator Reynolds announced she was suing him for comments on social media. He faces potential bankruptcy after deciding not to challenge Senator Reynolds' defamation lawsuit concerning his posts. Ms. Reynolds' matter against the pair is listed for a six-week hearing in the Washington Supreme Court on August 2. Last week Ms. Reynolds won the right to access details of the multi-million dollar Commonwealth payout locked away in a managed trust for Ms. Higgins. It was created in late 2022 to hold the proceeds of a $2.4 million financial settlement she struck with the federal government amid claims she was not supported by Senator Reynolds after Bruce Lerman allegedly raped her. Senator Reynolds' lawyer Martin Bennett told the Supreme Court in Perth his client wanted the document to understand who the trustee was and what jurisdiction's laws were relevant to it. It could lead to the senator instigating further court action to have trust funds restored to Ms. Higgins before the defamation trial judgment is handed down. It is likely to be the only process by which Senator Reynolds recovers damages and costs in the event she's successful, he told reporters outside court. If you're out of pocket and you've mortgaged your house to the hilt to pay for litigation, recovering those costs is something you try and do as soon as possible. During the hearing, the court was told an affidavit penned by one of Ms. Higgins' lawyers, Leon Zwire, stated she had net assets worth less than $10,000 in June. We know that from all intents and purposes, Miss Higgins leads a wonderful lifestyle of travel and events, Mr. Bennett said as he outlined the reasons why his client wanted to access the trust deed. Miss Higgins' lawyers fought the application, saying it was speculative, futile, premature and unnecessary because the Bankruptcy Act provided measures to enable the senator to access funds if she won the defamation case. Senator Reynolds' legal team said the trust was created to protect Miss Higgins from future creditors, such as the Commonwealth, Mr. Lerman, Penguin Australia and her. Chief Justice Peter Quinlan said its name, the Brittany Higgins Protective Trust, suggested it was created to protect her from something or someone but there was no direct evidence to support the senator's claim. Chief Justice Quinlan said it could have been created to protect Ms. Higgins from exploitation amid her ongoing health challenges. However, he concluded it was in the interests of justice for Senator Reynolds to be granted discovery of the trust documents. He also said it may be the only way Senator Reynolds can collect damages if she wins her defamation case before urging the parties to resolve their disputes before the trial. I don't want to sound like King Canute trying to hold back the ocean, he said. It's not too late for these parties to take the resolution of all disputes between them into their own hands. Lerman denied raping Ms. Higgins and Th.